Hello together. In this tutorial I show you the conversion of a K-Weeds KM601 multimeter from AAA battery cells to a LiPo accumulator battery. A word up front. I have already concluded this conversion of my multimeter, so I can only describe how I did it, not actually show you every step of the way, so you will need a little fantasy. About a year ago my 30 year old multimeter died on me and I was looking for a more modern replacement as I did not fancy a repair. About at the same time I found a video on the YouTube channel Learn Electronics Repair where the host, Richard, introduced the K-Weeds KM601 multimeter. This meter looked quite nice and I found it readily available at Amazon, so I bought it. I am still quite satisfied with the features of the meter, the functions and handling are nice, equipment like case and measurement cables are not too shabby and I really like the big color display. However, as the saying goes, new brooms sweep well. After a year of service some problems came up, two major ones to be exact. First, the push buttons, especially the auto function button, which is the most used one. But also the on off button became unresponsive in time and you had to pound them for results. But now I am stranded with this meter and I have to deal with it. The button problem can be fixed by changing the switches or cleaning them with contact spray. Not too much of a problem, inconvenient though. And the second problem, you have three guesses, however you shall need only one. This meter has an unsatiable appetite for AAA batteries. Though I didn't really count, I believe to have changed the batteries in six week intervals. And I only do electronics as a hobby, so I do not use the meter every day. Let's do some simple math. Three AAA cells times 1.5 volts each, that's 4.5 volts supply voltage for the meter. These three cells can be substituted by one LiPo cell 1S supplying 3.7 to 4.2 volts, for as long as the meter does not constantly throw the low volt message on its display. This conversion will cost you about 11 euros for the material. Let's recalculate. The price for a pack of 8 AAA cells is approximately 1 euro 80 cent or 22 cent per cell. For 11 euro we can also buy 50 AAA cells. At 3 cells per battery change, these 50 cells will last for 16 changes. As mentioned before, I have changed in about 6 week intervals. Then 16 changes will last for 24 months. A LiPo conversion will break even after 2 years. However, if the batteries are empty and you do not have spares, the meter is dead. Whereas if the LiPo battery is low, all you have to do is attach a charger and you can immediately resume work. For the conversion you need the following material. A LiPo battery cell type 653450 with BMS or battery management system. You will find these for approximately 10 euro at Amazon, a little less on eBay. A USB jack with cables, I used USB type C, you will find these on AliExpress for a euro 50 cent for a pack of 10. Tools and consumables you will need. A Dremel tool or equivalent. With cut-off wheel, a rotary cutter bit, shrink tube, hot glue, soldering iron, insulating tape, double sided tape and a few centimeters of cable. Let's disassemble. Remove the measuring cables and the protective cover. Then remove the battery cover. Find the single screw here. 
Once you open the battery cover, you will not see this, but this, the battery clip, still in place. Next step is the removal of the rear housing cover. The four screws are to be found here. Unscrew and remove. You may put the meter aside now, but don't scratch the display. Load your Dremel with the cutter wheel. Cut out the battery clip along its four edges and remove from the rear housing cover. The battery clip may go now. You will have to clean the cut edges from excess molten plastic. Let's move on to the electronics work. The battery clip was positioned on the PCB right between those two fuses. Metal contacts on the clip made contact to the PCB and thus transferred the voltage. The two contact areas on the PCB are marked with BUT PLUS and BUT MINUS. This is where we have to attach the cables from the LiPo cell. Here we can see my battery cell. This is not the cell version I proposed earlier. I took an old cell from a notepad and a BMS PCB from a font to build this. The cell was then insulated with Kapton tape. This cell is identical with the type that you can buy cheap. Then we need a USB jack. I chose type C. You may change the jack type as you prefer. The jack and the attaching cable are hot glued and shrunk into a plastic tube. Then sharply bend the tube by 90 degrees while still hot, like this. Wiring diagram. Red is positive, black is negative voltage. On the left hand side we see the wiring for the do-it-yourself cell. Note that the cell's poles are attached to the outer pads of the BMS. The jack goes to the inner pads and then on to the meter. On the right hand side we see the procurable cell version. Attach the jack cables to the cell, red on red, black on black, then attach the two cables on to the meter. Here we see the cell pack. I attach the USB jack to the upper right corner of the cell and lead the cables out to the left. Then I insulated the pack with some extra Kapton tape. Now we solder the cables to the PCB contacts. Red to bed plus and black to bed minus and take care not to draw sharp spikes from the solder which can damage the cell and cause a short circuit. As soon as both cables attach the meter switches on. Now the LiPo pack may be glued to the PCB with double sided tape. Right up here is the charging jack. For this we need to make two small cutouts in the rear housing cover and the battery cover. Load your Dremel with the rotary cutter bit and open up the cutout in the rear housing cover. When this fits Put the battery cover back on the rear housing cover and mark the cutout from the inside. Perform the cut in the battery cover, then put the rear housing cover back into the protective cover, mark and cut out. Now we can reassemble. Reattach the rear housing cover. Then reattach the battery cover. And we're done. 
switch on and as we can see, no low battery symbol is visible. But if it comes up, just attach a charger and you're good to go. A charging cycle lasts for about an hour. And these we don't need any longer.